Acid reflux. Everything you need to know. Have you ever felt something astringent or acidic backwashing into your mouth from your stomach? It must have happened at some point, or may I say it keeps happening once in a while. Well, this acid reflux is termed as gastroesophageal reflux in medical science. It is completely normal if you experience this once in a while. But if it keeps bothering you more than twice a week for several weeks or months, then it is alarming. It indicates that you have GERD. What is GERD? Gastroesophageal reflux disease, also known as GERD for short, is a digestive disorder in which the acidic stomach content refluxes or rushes upwards into your esophagus and then into your mouth. This acid reflux irritates the esophageal lining and the person complains of having heartburn. Why does GERD occur? The ring of muscle that is called the esophageal sphincter guards the border between esophagus and stomach to prevent the backflow of food and other content passed down through the mouth. When this ring or sphincter is affected by some causative factors, it stays relaxed and fails to shut and stomach content backlashes into the esophagus, ultimately causing irritation and inflammation. What are the causes of GERD? Pregnancy Obesity, hiatal hernia, the top part of the stomach bulges into the diaphragm, delayed stomach emptying, indigestion, connective tissue disorders. Some lifestyle factors are responsible for aggravating the acid reflux, such as alcohol consumption and smoking, eating large portion meals, eating late at night and sleeping right after. Eating spicy, fried, or fatty foods. Excessive caffeine intake. Certain medications like aspirin. What are the symptoms of GERD? Regurgitation of gastric content. Difficulty swallowing. Chest pain. Heartburn, generally after having a meal, even worse at nighttime, can even last for two hours. Nausea. Difficulty breathing a lump-like sensation in the throat. In some episodes, especially at night, you can also experience chronic cough, acute or worsening asthma, laryngitis, disrupted sleep. How is GERD diagnosed? At first, the general practitioner asks about the patient's history and does a physical examination. He might be able to diagnose GERD based on those signs and symptoms along with the history. But to be certain, some tests are also performed, such as ambulatory acid pH probe testing. Acid levels inside the esophagus of the patient are measured. Esophageal manometry to measure the rhythmic or peristaltic muscle contractions in the esophagus while swallowing the food. Upper endoscopy, a thin and flexible tube with a light and camera fitted in, is passed down the patient's throat to examine the inside of the esophagus and the stomach clearly. X-rays. The patient is asked to drink a chalky liquid that coats the inner lining of the gastric tract, and then X-rays are taken. What is the treatment of GERD? GERD can be easily treated with lifestyle modification and the help of some over-the-counter medications. Lifestyle modifications. Avoid sour, spicy, and salty foods. Avoid strong triggering beverages. Eat slowly and keep the serving small. Have your dinner at least two hours before going to bed. Quit smoking if you do. Stay hydrated. Maintain a healthy body weight. Some over-the-counter medications. Antacids, to neutralize the excess of acid, like Rolaids and Mylanta, among others. H2 receptor blockers, provide relief for longer duration than antacids, nizatidine and cimetidine, etc. Proton pump inhibitors, block the acid production while helping in esophageal healing, like omeprazole, pentoprazole, etc. If the patient doesn't recover within a course of a few weeks, then surgery is suggested. Surgery and other procedures include fundoplication, a laparoscopic procedure in which the muscles of the ring or sphincter are tightened, transoral incisionless fundoplication, an advanced form of fundoplication with endoscopy requiring no excision.
Lynx device. A ring of small magnetic beads is draped around the sphincter to keep the junction closed and guard against the reflux, but loose enough to let the food pass from esophagus to stomach. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.